Information privacy is about protecting how your information is used, shared and collected. 58% of people worldwide are on social media willingly sharing their personal information. However, consumers are also sharing information that they may not realize they are. In fact, 46% of websites collect some form of information. And 82% of web traffic, half of that contains scripts that are tracking and following you and collecting information. And this is just the start. Where do we go from here? What do you think information privacy is? Uh, I think it is the ways that your information is shared through the internet. I think data privacy means having autonomy over the data that you generate. How much data you allow companies and organizations to have on you. It's not going to be leaked out um, and that whatever I need to use it for is going to be just for that sole purpose and nothing else. Data privacy to me is any type of information, personal information you share with anyone online. It's very important that we keep that secure. Some of that do feel like I'm being tracked online with like some of the certain ads I'll get. You look at one thing and then you start getting all these ads for that one thing you looked at. To me, I think it's kind of weird and it freaks me out sometimes. Like when they ask if you want to let something track you, I always put no. I mean, there's so many sites out there that take your information and it's just a little bit stressful at times because you just don't know that it's happening. So being aware and being on top of it is very important. I think it really affects our personal life. Um, just, you know, if I click on a website and it says it's unsafe, you know, I always look and make sure that you know, where, where I am is legitimate. You are constantly being tracked on what you're liking and it's kind of building a profile for you to show you like what they think is going to interact um, with you the most and what you're going to like, like and follow and share and all that stuff. I, it kind of feels creepy to know that people are tracking everything you do. In reality, information privacy is about the choices you make of how your information is shared but also used and whether it's collected or not. And so one question I get all the time, even from my colleagues, is that if information privacy is about protecting information, isn't it the same as information security? Well, the answer is no. Information security is about protecting the information from damage or from being stolen, for example, by using a password. Information privacy is about how the information is collected and used. Let's take an example. Imagine you have a valuable painting in your house. You want it protected, of course. So if you don't want anybody to steal it, you're going to lock the door of the house. That's security. But now let's say you have some people visiting and they're very interested in your painting and you tell them stories about the painting and you ask that they don't share this information with others. And the minute they leave your house, they tell everybody. That's a privacy breach. Let's take another scenario. You have a contractor in the kitchen, and the contractor is supposed to stay in the kitchen, but you walk away to do something else, and the contractor goes into the living room, finds the painting interesting, snaps a picture, you don't know this, and then when the contractor goes back home, he or she puts this on social media. And so now your painting is on social media. You may not even know about it. That's another type of privacy breach. So privacy is partly about knowing what information is shared with whom, but it's also about knowing how your information is collected and how it is used. Your digital journey? Simple. It's all the use of all the ever-evolving technologies that we use to create or share information, whether it's with businesses, with our friends, or even the government. Online, social media, websites, your mobile phone, your smartwatch, your smart home devices, it's all creating digital journeys. And those digital journeys, once you use them, they turn into digital footprints. Imagine if you took a step for every click you made since you woke up this morning. How far would you walk? Have you ever thought about that? Online is thinking about it every day, every click. 
how many users do we have on the internet? We have over 5 billion users today. As of April 2022, there are over 1 billion users of Google search engine. Every minute, there are over 2.4 million searches. And most of these searches leave digital footprints. They leave information about the searcher. That is you. Every step you take, every footprint online, leaves a trace, leaves information, and provides more and more than you could ever imagine. Do you remember the first time you used the Google search engine? For me, I was a Yahoo user, and one of my colleagues said, you have to see this search engine. It is so clean, so easy, and it is free. Is your time free? Is your data free? No, we must protect it and understand it. But what about access to all of the things that we live through every day? That's where the paradox exists. What's the paradox? That internal battle that we have between how we should feel that we're acting versus our actual behavior online. In fact, research shows that 60% of people choose to never give up their digital presence online. Consider virtual identities. They are virtual representations of ourselves. For example, online gaming. In online gaming, you can produce and create your virtual avatar, your character. Your character could have wings. Your character could have magical powers. And you're doing this all in an immersive 3D environment where you have community, you connect with friends, businesses, you might play different sorts of games. Digital footprints are going to be around much longer than we ourselves physically will be on this planet. Remember, you cannot erase what's been shared in the digital world. However, you have power over your future digital journey.